Hi guys, uh, so if your Windows 10 device is not starting up, booting up uh, after a recent power outage, uh, then this is the fix. Let's move to the first method. First of all, what you should do, just unplug the power cable from your laptop or your, if, if it is a desktop, just unplug the power cable uh, power, uh, from your computer. Now remove all external devices uh, from your computer, like if there is a USB, device just disconnected from your computer if there is a keyboard connected via wire just disconnected if there is a mouse connected just disconnected if there is an hdmi cable just disconnect all the devices okay now what you should do just press and hold the power button okay just press and keep it pressed for 10 seconds now after 10 seconds release the power button okay uh, and now Plug back all the devices, including the power cable, okay? Now start your computer normally by pressing the power button again and it will boot up. Now if it does not boot up, let's move to the method 2. And in method 2, we have to go to automatic repair mode. So how to go to automatic repair mode? Uh, it's very easy. What you have to do is to just make sure your computer is fully shut down. Now after that, just press the power button once. And uh, as soon as something appears on your screen, any logo or anything appears on the screen, just press the power button and keep it pressed for five seconds, okay? So that it gets forcefully shut down. Now repeat this process two to three times until you reach this automatic repair uh, screen and it will say diagnosing your PC and the screen will appear. Now after that, on the screen, you have to click on You will reach in this screen okay now click on troubleshoot again now click on advanced options now click on command prompt now choose your account and enter your password okay now your command prompt window will open up now you have to run these commands okay these four commands one by one uh, i pasted all these commands in the description of the video given below you can directly copy those commands from there. So just run these commands one by one on your command prompt window and try again and your problem will be fixed. After running it, just close the command prompt window and click on continue and start your PC normally. That's it guys. Please do like the video to support us and subscribe to the channel for supporting.